show today on Couple Buy in LA. Have you heard of Cirque du Soleil? Their latest presentation is all about Michael Jackson, and one of the dancers touring with them is actually a Couple Buy in, and she's here today on the show. We're going to meet her, and it's all about, of course, celebration of Pinoy Pride on Couple Buy in LA. My name is Janelle Sawyer, Couple Buy in Los Angeles, and joining me right this afternoon as well are attorney Robert Reeves and attorney Nancy Miller, senior partners of Reeves and Associates, because there is yet another um, announcement or more requirements for this uh, what we're calling the deferred action for dreamers let's first talk about that you know we I don't think we've ever uh, defined that here on the show what is deferred action it is a policy set out by the Department of Homeland Security where people who are not in status and are subject to being deported um, can get a relief from that for a period of two years where the government has essentially said we will allow you to apply for this relief you will not be deported you will be able to get work authorization you will be able to live in this country and breathe <laughs> and not be afraid of your life or not be always constantly looking behind you and see who's and following you and not panic you. when you hear the doorbell ring yeah exactly. and wonder kind who's of like there a, a, a mini dream Act. Uh -huh, uh -huh. They wanted to get the DREAM Act through, they couldn't get it through, so Obama could do this by policy, by regulation. Didn't have to go to Congress to do it. Couldn't get anything through Congress, so this is what they have. And this is good. And this is good because yes. you're not just able to stay here legally for two years, you're also able to work because what is staying here legally if you're unable to work? And that is, I think, has something to do with what they came out today or new forms or separate worksheets for... They, they certainly did. Today they came out with a three, about three or four pages, an application on a, 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 for deferred action, an application for work authorization, and a worksheet uh, for the proof financial necessity. Now this is a little bit more complicated than originally anticipated. They have to show that they have a financial uh, necessity to get work authorization. Uh, there's no sense of paying $465 uh, to not get an ID card because if you don't get that ID card, you're not going to get work authorization, you're going to be able to go to school, you're not going to get a driver's license, so what's the sense in it? So yeah. it, this, this, fin this financial necessity at, form has to be properly filled out and uh, and uh problem is is that the immigration service they can reject the application they can send it back if it's not properly filled out they can deny it or not get the work authorization which is kind of worthless there's no appeal to this. And I'm thinking that this is why you need a lawyer to help you go through this. Some people are saying that it's easy enough, I can download the forms online and do it myself. And you're saying that you shouldn't. This is way too important. The immigration services is, is not there, uh, it's not a friendly place to undocumented immigrants. Uh, th they will not correct the application. They will not help them. One of four things is gonna happen. Either they deny the application, or they send it back, or they send the whole application back to you to resubmit with the correct information. That may take six months, nine months, uh, and then you go to the bottom of the pile. So now we lost a year. Right. If you were working part time in a thousand dollars a month, they've already lost twelve thousand dollars. And so let's talk about the denial. What happens if USCIS uh, finds the supporting evidence insufficient? Well, they can do one of several things. They can ask, um, they can send for what's called a request for further evidence, which means that they are then telling you you have not met your burden and it is the applicant's burden mm -hmm. to prove that they're eligible. So they can send them a request that says, please provide additional information to let us know that you are eligible. They can also just deny the application. Right, exactly. And if they deny it, there's no appeal. Is it possible to deny, to grant you the deferred action, but deny you the work authorization? A abso vice versa? Absolutely. And one of the issues is, are they going to give work authorization to 15-year-olds? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. And uh, if they're 15 and almost 16, I think I would wait until they're 16 uh, to do it. And if they send it back, as Nancy says, for a request for further evidence, well, again, it's going to take several months to get to you, mm -hmm. and then you go to the bottom of the pile. Right. right. Uh, so. 
if it's a two-year period of time and you only got one year out of it and you already lost $12,000 if you're just working part-time. So this is a very important, the very serious consequences of making a mistake. In and this that is why there's no point in waiting and there's no point in doing it yourself if lawyers like Attorney Reeves and Attorney Miller are here ready to help you. That's the number to call on the screen if you want to get more information about this and if you want to schedule your appointment with them because they have to go through the documents with you, make sure that you are submitting everything that's required, right? Yeah, and okay. we have to do a, a declaration of why this, why they have to have this work authorization ID card. Very and that's important. the whole, that's the whole 10 yards. They got to have that ID card. Yes. Thank you so much for coming uh, to the show today, coming on the show and explaining these things to us. It's very tricky and it's very complicated. And thank you for your service to the Filipino community. Um, our pleasure. Okay. Dancing and the Queen Lawless when we return on Cabo Bay and LA. Don't go away.